Imagine, if you will, a girl who uncovers a clandestine group of scientists and soldiers hell-bent on using demonic powers for the betterment of humanity. But alas, something goes wrong at their facility and she has to destroy everything this secret group has spent years trying to build. Now imagine a marine who uncovers a clandestine group of scientists and soldiers hell-bent on using demonic powers for the betterment of humanity. But alas, something goes wrong at their facility and he has to destroy everything this secret group spent years trying to build. It is here that I posit that Doom and Buffy the Vampire Slayer exist in parallel dimensions, specifically how the events of Buffy Season 4 and Doom 2016 tie the whole shebang together. Now, it's well established in the lore of Buffy the Vampire Slayer that alternate dimensions are a normal thing, and in Buffy's dimension, the Slayer is always a woman. But would that be the case across all dimensions? What if in one dimension the Slayer wasn't a teenage girl, but a UAC space marine? And not just any space marine, but a space marine given the title of Doom Slayer by the Legions of Hell itself? And those that tasted the bite of his sword named him... Now, thematically, this greatly mirrors the opening dialogue of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. In every generation, there is a chosen one. She alone will stand against the vampires, the demons, and the forces of darkness. She is the Slayer. Now, the events of Buffy Season 4 begin in late 1999, with the first episode having aired in October, when she discovers a secret government operation known as the Initiative, and subsequently unearths their plans to capitalize on the abilities of demons for the purposes of technological advancement. Now, according to the wiki for the 2016 Doom reboot, the events of Doom take place in October of 2149, exactly 150 years after the start of Buffy Season 4. Now, when the Doom Slayer awakens in a United Aerospace Corporation facility on Mars, he discovers the facility is built atop a rift to hell, which has been used to provide sustainable energy to Earth. Now, let me take a moment to lay out the comparison of these two story arcs before I get into how the timelines might fit together. Now, the Initiative and the UAC both appear on the surface to have altruistic motives, but actually hide much darker secrets within. Their more nefarious goings-on are spearheaded by very similar-looking female scientists in the form of Dr. Maggie Walsh and Olivia Pierce, respectively. Both groups deal in the cybernetic enhancement of humans and demons, occasionally dabbling in hybrids of both. Incidentally, both of these facilities become overrun with demons at one point or another. The leaders of their respective scientific projects, both of these women craved the creation of a better breed of being through the combination of flesh and metal. The magnum opus for each of these women, at least in terms of cybernetically enhanced people and demons, was the Initiative's Adam and the UAC's Cyberdemon. Adam was a man-machine demon hybrid with cybernetic and demonic enhancements, including an arm with a retractable spike and an arm capable of morphing into a gun. Buffy was only able to defeat him by removing a power cell in his chest. The UAC's Cyberdemon was a demon-machine hybrid with one spiked arm and one massive gun arm, who coincidentally could only be defeated by removing a power source embedded in its chest. Additionally, each of these women are eventually betrayed and enslaved by the demons they're studying. So as we've already laid out, in the fall of 1999, Slayer Buffy Summers stumbled across a secret government installation known as the Initiative. In the fall of 2149, a nameless space marine will wake up on a bloody stone tablet in the UAC's Argent facility on Mars. Buffy met Riley Finn, an operative of the Initiative who eventually helped Buffy infiltrate the Initiative and end Maggie Walsh's plans of unleashing a new race of human-demon hybrids onto the Earth. The Doom Marine will meet Dr. Samuel Hayden, the head of Mars's Argent facility, who will help the Doom Marine infiltrate the deeper levels of the compound and end Olivia Pierce's plans of unleashing an army of demons onto the Earth. Now, how might these two worlds fit together? Well, I'd postulate that in some form or another, the events of Season 4 of Buffy exist across all dimensions and timelines. At some point in the history of the multiverse, the harnessing of demonic energy by human beings will occur. It's an event so influential that all dimensions will experience it. Now, in the Doomslayer's dimension, it just took a lot longer to come to pass than it did in Buffy's. 
What about the events of the previous three seasons, you may ask? Well, the Doomslayer probably experienced an equivalent to those events as well. More than a half dozen texts recall the previous deeds of the Doomslayer, mirroring much of the folklore surrounding the Slayers of Buffy's universe. By the time Season 4 rolls around, the demons of Sunnydale view Buffy in much the same way the demons in Doom view the Doomslayer. Evidence would suggest that the Doomslayer may have been at war with the demons of hell for centuries, lending credence to the idea that he was probably chosen for this purpose, just as Buffy and myriad women before her were chosen to be the Vampire Slayer. In each dimension of the multiverse, someone needs to hold back the hordes of hell, be they a teenager in California or a muscle-bound marine on Mars. Oh, hello there. You've caught me practicing my reading. Boy, I sure wish I wasn't illiterate. Clearly you've enjoyed another Subpixel video. If you could like, comment, or subscribe, it lets us and it lets YouTube know that our content is worth watching. In the meantime, I'm going to get back to pretending.